What's going on everyone? I'm just doing a little video here comparing the piece VPX7 10 CFM uh, vacuum pump to a Yellow Jacket Super Vac uh, 6 CFM. I know this one's a lot bigger of a pump, but I'm just going to do a little comparison here. Got two brand new tanks, wrapper still on them, wrapper still on it. We're going to pull each down, time it. Um, I'm not even going to use a vacuum rated hose. I'm just going to use a uh, yellow hose I got laying around here. We're going to do one at a time. Um, I only get one micro gauge, plus I want to make it fair. You see a micro gauge on both. So uh, let's get started. Let me get this set up. So I'm going to use the same hose, uh, same power supply, everything on both. Field piece MG44. Very new. Are we under a vacuum or not? Yep, we're under a vacuum. Let's flip that out. Let's suck in some air. So let's see how long this takes to get down to, let's say, 250 microns. Everything's tight. Don't check on with the things. Everything's open. Valve's open. So, fresh oil. Change oil on both. So let's see what happens. So, down to 500, right around 15 minutes. Let's get the field piece set up, see what it'll do. Another brand new tank. Play a game if it's under a vacuum or not. Maybe it is under a vacuum. Put all that out. Everything's getting tight. Actually. 
1425. So, so I did it this way for a couple reasons. I'll show you that whether well, you have a 10 CFM or a 6 CFM pump, it's going to take the same amount of time if you're using quarter inch non vacuum rated hoses. Now 10 CFM, 6 CFM. This hose is never going to flow 10 CFM. It's never going to flow 6 CFM. So when you're doing your vacuums, make sure you use a proper hose, a proper setup. Pull the cores. We have no cores here, so we don't have to pull them. Uh, use a core puller. Use a vacuum rated hose, 3 8 or half inch diameter, whatever you have. And that's when everything comes alive. Okay, next step. Same pumps, same tanks, both open to atmosphere. Go ahead and dump this one out. So, release the vacuum, this one's open, just opened it. Now, we're going to use a true blue setup, 3 8 quarter. When we get this set up, we'll start the timer. This hose is going to be a little uh, stiff. It's cold here in the barn. So uh, we'll see. Indiana problems. Make sure everything's good and tight. Again, we're going 500 microns. Valve's on, everything's tight. There you have it, 435, we are at 480 microns. Sorry, it's upside down, but that's less than a third amount of time. Let's try it on the field piece. So now, same tank I used before on the field piece. Valves are open, no vacuum. Hose up. So now, same reclaim tank. Uh, so now, same reclaim tank. I use the fourth field piece. Um, it's open, atmosphere pressure. We're we'll going to hook up the uh, true blue hose. Micro gauge. I use personally the field piece MG44. Um, I just like it. Um, I've got the true blue one. Uh, need to send it in. Um, I don't know if I did something wrong or what's going on with it, but got a little bit of a combination issue. I just always keep reading to send it in. Um, so 
Maybe I'll do that here soon. Everything's tight, everything's open. Gas valve is closed. So let's get it started. Four ten down below five hundred. So my point is I'm not trying to pick on pump manufacturers. They both performed better with the larger diameter hose, vacuum rated hose. Um, there's several different manufacturers out there that make these hose. I just happen to use a triple kit. Um, works out really well for me. Use whatever pump you have. I mean, a lot of guys, your employer provides your pump. Um, you don't want to say so in a matter. Employers provide pumps. Employers provide micro gauges. I get it. I'm not beating up on nobody. But what I'm saying is, whenever you can, use a vacuum rated hose. Larger diameter for faster pulls. Put some numbers up to show you what I did before and after. And uh, let me know what you guys think.